Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me here today back at QS Tuning for what I think is gonna be the final piece of the puzzle for the M14 GI. Of course, in this new art car livery, people are very much so on the fence about it. I personally love it. It, uh, it, it complements the power that this thing's making now. Um, yeah, it's different, I love it, and that's all that matters. Um, so actually in the reveal video, I kind of almost leaked what we're doing today, and is of course the methanol injection. The car as it stands at the moment is running approximately 480 brake on the Stage 2 Plus uh, software and hardware. So we've got the super high pressure fuel pump, spark plugs, uh, forged charge pipes, and then the Stage 2 Plus map, which goes alongside that with the Cobra Sport downpipe and OPF delete. Um, so yeah, there's a fair old bit on the car now, but we're gonna be putting a methanol injection kit on the car. Now, I, I've never done anything like this before. Alex has here at QST. He's done loads of them before, so he's gonna be able to explain exactly what we're doing today and uh, kind of explain to me how I keep on top of it all. But um, yeah, very exciting. Fingers crossed, we will be seeing a number which begins with five, which has always been my goal for this car. So hopefully at the end of today, that is what we will be seeing. But yeah. I guess all there is to do now is get the car inside, catch up with Alex and well, get to work on this because I think it is quite a big job. And there's also a number of very, very cool cars, notably the RS6 over there, which we need to check out in today's video as well. All right, first time I've seen it on the move actually. It looks pretty cool. So, Alex is taking it in. And those of you who noticed, yes, the bonnet is open, the car's already been in there, but we've been doing a little bit of shuffling around, working out where things are going. So the bonnet is already open, um, for those of you who are wondering. <laughs> Makes a dull and gloomy day look a bit brighter looking at this. <laughs> oh dear. So we're back here at QS, back with Alex. Hello. Hello, you're right. So uh, we're going to the next stage, aren't we? We are indeed. We did the stage two plus not too long ago, but there was always the intention to do what we're doing today. Yeah. Really. We so dined it at 480, I think it was. 480 horsepower. 480. Yeah. So hopefully. Run. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So hopefully um, we'll, uh, we'll be able to get something beginning with five. That's always been my, my goal. <laughs> Please, I'm praying. Get um, as close as we can. Yeah, now uh, progress is well underway yep. with the install of always the meth injection, because that's exactly yeah. what we're doing. Can so, you give um, me a run around, because I've no idea what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so as you just mentioned, today we're fitting a water meth injection kit. Um, we're using the AEM kit. So if we start in the boot here, um, you can see the meth tank here. Um, then you've got the pump down there for the meth. Then we're going to run the hoses and the wiring through the cart, which you can see Kim's doing in there. Um, ECU is going to be in the glove box, which I believe. So the meth kit has an, uh, like a yeah, separate so ECU. Yeah, it's got its own ECU. As I crawl into these uncomfortable seats. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you've got its own ECU there. Um, you then pick. So you're going to have a light as well coming through there, which will route in the interior. Yeah. Um, so you basically you set the start PSI and everything on there. Then under the bonnet. Um, so the charge pipe's off at the moment, being slightly modified for the meth port. Um, mm -hmm. Forge, for some reason, put them up at the top, which is fine if you've got a 90 degree elbow for the meth, but we didn't have time to do that. We didn't mm -hmm. get one in in time, so we're just gonna modify the pipe yeah. to suit. Um, we're then gonna tee in to get a vacuum source and run that into the cabin as well. Um, but yeah, it's all underway. It's quite a big job then, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, quite pretty, a, big it's a pretty labour intensive job. Um, obviously, as you can see, you've got to strip out a fair bit. The yeah. glove box was out of it earlier. All my um, rubbish in the, in the passenger all, seat. All, all the interior trims have got to come out. You can see yep. the rear bench is out as well, back here. Yep. That's all um, scattered everywhere. Yeah, wiring, yeah. as you can see there. And it's got the map pipes there as well, which are all going to be routed neatly. So it'll be completely mm. hidden. You'll never yeah. be able to yeah. see it. 
Um, Wicked. Yeah, we've done loads of these kits. So yeah, really, really yeah. well. No, that's exactly what you you kind of recommended to go for an AM. Yeah, kit. it's a good kit. There's loads of other kits. A lot of people on these do like the BMS kit of like a torque bike controller, but it's more mm. involved for what we're doing. We're not having the car MEF dependent. It's yeah. just going to be additional. Mm. Um, obviously, if you were going MEF dependent, then you'd be best to spend a bit more money and get a sort of higher end kit. Yeah. Um, but this kit for what we're doing here is absolutely perfect. It's mm. not crazy expensive and it's not super super difficult to yeah. install either. And the so. fact that I still do quite a lot of long journeys in the car. Yeah. So the fact it's not meth dependent is, is perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, meth dependent, some cars we've done have been meth dependent depending on like the customer's requirements. But for this, yeah. we're just doing it for a bit more octane and a bit more cooling because yeah. um, obviously intake air temperatures are crazy high on this car mm. on the dyno. Yeah. Um, so by doing that, we're going to add cooling and a bit more octane as well. Um, perfect. So it's going to be running on a 50-50 blend as well. Okay, yeah. Um, obviously, as some people, you can run like 100% meth, 60-40 different mixtures. This, mm -hmm. we always do 50-50 mix. Yeah. Um, sometimes you go 60-40, this is going to be a 50-50 blend on this car. Awesome. Do we have to do any mapping afterwards? or is um, We'll see how it goes. It's all a case of watching the fuel trims on it, really. Okay. Yeah. Um, we probably won't do a map tweak because it's not mm -hmm. going to be meth dependent. Um, yeah, true. We'll, we'll log it on the dyno and see how it goes from there. Yeah. Or as if we feel a tweak's needed to get more out of it or just to tidy the fuel trims up, then we will do. Yeah, yeah. But typically, I don't think it's going to need a map tweak because awesome. we're not going meth dependent. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're literally just going to yeah, put, put the kit on and log it, watch the logs and uh, see the gains from there. Make some serious power, hopefully. Yeah, I'd estimate <laughs> to see at least a sort of 10 horsepower gain on the dyno, but it's more about mm. the sort of fly there. Um, more <laughs> about the sort of consistency on the road. So if you do like a 100 to 200, pull on a drag or a v-box mm. with the meth on and off you'll see quite a difference there yeah, yeah. Um, we've had a customer on a stage three he shaved nearly a second of his 100 to 200 time yeah that's noticeable 50 foot yeah it's a yeah, big difference serious. just by fitting the meth kit on his car it's the same am kit as this mm. um which is yeah, Brilliant. all going now so all the wires are being taped up now mm, it's all going on it's all going on lovely jubbly wicked right well uh, let's carry on and then um well we'll probably catch up later on down the line when we're, when we're nearly ready to go. Right, we're all done. All done. It's been a long day. It has been a long very day. long day. You haven't even been working on it. I've just been still I, I haven't done much on it either. <laughs> it's been a very long day. Busy, busy day as always, down it. So, um, started the back here. Tank installed, filled up with a 50 50 mixture. Pump installed down there. Um, really nice, neat install we've done on it there. Hasn't compromised any real boot space at all. Yeah, which is good. That's that. Got the diffuser off because we're about to get it on the dyno which will be good. Why do we have to take the diffuser off? Because I'm an idiot and I covered the, what do you call, towing eye. Yeah, that's the it. one. Yeah, that's the word. So, uh, if we come in here, you've got your LED there. Yeah, um, I don't know if you see that. Which will pulse bright when it tells you the meth's working. Yep. Uh, it will also flash telling you when the meth's low. Mm -hmm. um, then in here, you've got your ECU, which you set up the PSIs when you want the meth to work. Uh, again, neatly installed in there. And then all the wiring, like we've seen in the video, is yeah, basically all, all, all hidden. Tucked away with the original loom that runs straight down the side of the car. And then under the bonnet. Well, you can barely even see it. <laughs> um, vacuum pipe and the meth pipe. Um, so, vacuum pipe's running from the glove box into the controller, so that's how it picks up its mm -hmm. vacuum pressure. Um, so he's running in there, then you've got the meth pipe, so this runs all the way from the boot through here, um, rooted and hidden down there, then he's going through into there. Um, so this is with a 500cc nozzle, which is one of the smaller nozzles. Mm -hmm. um, so then he's tapped in there. Um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty OEM really. Yeah, um, yeah. Unless you knew, you probably wouldn't really know at all. Exactly, yeah. Um, Wicked. But yeah. Lovely stuff, and like we said earlier on in the video, it's not meth dependent, which Correct, is good. Yeah. Usability. Well, I need to order some. Uh, like, you what? need to get your meth stock yeah, up, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. do like a bit of meth now. Just shut up. <laughs> 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 Wicked. Well, like I said, it's been a, a very long day, and uh, don't worry, you can go home soon. <laughs> right, let's get it on the dyno and uh, well, see what you make.
Right folks, um, long story short, we need a map tweak. So this isn't so much of a plug and play situation as we first thought. So obviously we've run out of time for today. It's getting late. I still need to drive home. So what we're gonna do, obviously because it's a not a meth dependent uh, kit, I can still drive it without the meth. Uh, basically it's running like four, so anywhere between 450 and 470, depending on when we time the, the meth to come in. Um, so there needs to be some map tweaks. It's all beyond me, Alex is the expert, so he knows best. So what I'm gonna do, rather than leave you on a cliffhanger, we're gonna keep this video rolling into the new year. Uh, well, I'll be back to have the map tweaks. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll hit the numbers we want. But hey ho, things never go smoothly. Um, but uh, yeah, big thanks to the guys here at QS, because it's been a very, very long day today. Um, but yeah, such is life. Oh, that was good timing. <laughs> We're back. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so since that last clip of the car on the dyno very late at night, it has been three months. It's now March, and the rest of this video was filmed in December. But we're back. Alex has just arrived in his R8 back here, QST, to get this thing all done. I'm going to leave it with the guys here for a couple of days for them to basically just fine tune it, get it all sorted, and uh, then it'll all be done. Right, there we go. Hello, mate. Hello. We're back. Thank you. There's the keys. There I will see keys. you in a few days. A couple of days, yeah, I'll give you I'm going to go and try and find a car to use. Actually, there's a higher car place literally over there. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. <laughs> Brilliant, so you're just going to play around with it? Yeah, play about the tune, um, get it set up on the then play with the tune. Brilliant. Hopefully uh, get it all sorted, because this has been a long time coming, really. As we've had nothing but issues. <laughs> and issues I've been flat out as well. I've been busy. Yeah. Dino you've... issues. And sorting out your R8. Yeah, just whole thing's been like a bit yeah. back. We'll get it all done Brilliant. Today. Right, we'll catch up in a couple of days. Cool. Probably see it on the dyno, and then yeah. hopefully, um, well, see what we got, and then cool. hopefully be finished project for now at least. Then never finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks, we're back at QST, back at the dyno cell. In there is my car, as you can hear. Alex is in there. Doing some tweaks to the car. Sounded awesome. <laughs> now this video has, well, it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? It's been yes, yeah. filmed over the space of like three months, something like that. But like that. I, I think we're going to finish the video today. So <laughs> I've left the car with you for a couple of days. Yeah. Um, you've had the goal in mind of 500 brake, and yeah. we're close. We got close. We, we're close. We're um, very, very close. 4.7 horsepower, right? Um, 495.3 horsepower. Um, that was just that run then and 629 new meters, but we had a run earlier of 652 new meters of torque. So essentially it's 495 horsepower and 652 new meters of torque um, on a 50 50 meth mix. We played around, I essentially played around loads of nozzle size, uh, different mixtures and everything, but it seems happiest on a 50 50 without going meth dependent. Yeah. Um, that was one thing I wanted to make sure, just not yeah, to go meth dependent. dependent. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, gains aren't massive because it's not being mapped in to be completely dependent, but still yeah. it's like a nine horsepower gain and about 20 new meters of torque. Yeah. Um, so it's still a decent gain and again, more consistency as well. Um, yeah. What we've seen before with MEF on some cars as well is the dyno won't necessarily show you massive gains, but then on the road, like 100 to 200 times, maybe drastically better. Um, obviously where you've got more consistency and slightly more octane as well. Yeah, I'll have to do some bits like that. There is some runway events which hopefully should be going ahead within the next couple of months, so it'd be good to yeah, get this thing back out. I wanted to get out on it and get some times, but like I was saying to you, like driving around here at the moment, it's <laughs> honestly like the amount of police cars is just yeah, absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Um, so yeah, wicked. Yeah. Well, we, we got close, we got close, and there's a couple of things which I can do, like I went for the super high pressure fuel pump, I could have gone for the Dorch, um, which would have probably given me some extra I mean, the, extra the only thing but. next is, like I said to you, we'll get another one in, spend like a week or so on development on it, mm. and make it meth dependent, and easier to be more power in there. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Um, it's still good power. It's just, though. yeah, the only other thing, put some 109 in it as well. And true. That'll tip you right yeah, yeah, as yeah well. that's true. Um, but this is just on pump, just every day. Yeah, it's just 99. It's Shell 99 you've got in there. Uh, Tesco, Tesco 99, 99, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for doing all your work anyway. Right. And, um, <laughs> well, I guess what I'm going to do is. Well, I'm going to do a first drive, obviously that'll probably be in a different video because this video has just been going on for so long. 
Um, but yeah, no, glad just, to, uh, to be fair, no have it all sorted. Ours. It was, no, no, we, that's we basically it. basically had dyno issues. Exactly, um, yeah. We've still been doing like loads of tuning, either using like our friend's dyno yeah. down the road or just doing it on the road. But the thing is, like for this video, like you need to be on a dyno. We're just having like roller issues and bearing issues, stuff taking ages to come in. And half yeah, the issue is just I've been so busy as and well. And then you've been busy for about, <laughs> well, nearly two months. Or so. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's just kind of yeah, been just. Uh, all over the place, but we got there. We got there. It's all sorted. Well, even though we didn't get 500 break, we still we got close. We got close. I think to be honest, I think the title will probably say 500 because clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks again, buddy, and uh, I think we'll get it off the rollers and uh, take this thing home. So there we go. Possibly one of the most all over the place videos I've ever filmed. I mean, we started this video back on the 21st of December of 2020 and it's now nearly April <laughs> so yeah it's been a long time coming but like we explained there's been uh, a whole load of things going on I've been really busy so to be honest I haven't been able to bring the car back uh, just to do some final tweaks and you may remember that the reason we couldn't finish off the video back uh, on the day that we filmed it uh, the, the rest of the video was basically because we were here for most of the day it was getting late uh, and we basically ran out of time now no we didn't quite make 500 break but don't be surprised if 500 break is in the title. To be honest, I think this is the closest we're gonna to get to 500 break. It has always been my goal. I, I feel like I have kind of reached it because we're so close within literally a couple of horsepower, but maybe if I upgrade the, the, the fuel pump again uh, to the Dorch one, then that would probably get, get it over or go method pendant, which I don't think I'm gonna do because most of the time I drive this car, it's kind of just from A to B. Um, and it's not like a, a track car or a, a drag car or anything like that. So there still needs to be some element of usability. But regardless, the guys at QST have done a pucker job as always. Um, and maybe you never know, we'll be back here fairly soon with some more bits uh, to tick off my list. But for now, that's going to wrap things up for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>